On a steamy Sunday morning in July, a man armed with a 12-gauge shotgun burst into this church in Knoxville, Tennessee, and opened fire. Seconds later, one person lay dead, another mortally wounded, and six injured. The man who walked into this sanctuary on July 27th was armed with a gun, but he was also armed with hatred. He was armed with bitterness. He was armed with resentments. He was armed with indiscriminate anger. He was armed in body and spirit. Members of the congregation wrestled a 58-year-old unemployed truck driver named Jim David Atkinson to the floor and held him until police came. At first, it seemed like just another inexplicable outburst of violence, until a police news conference the next day. It appears that what brought him to this horrible event was his lack of being able to obtain a job, his frustration over that, and his stated hatred for the liberal movement. Why did Adkisson hate the liberal movement? Police said that he told them that all liberals should be killed because they were ruining the country, and that he felt that the Democrats had tied his country's hands in the war on terror and ruined every institution in America. Police said that Adkisson had targeted the Unitarian Universalist Church because of its liberal teachings. I'm thinking about killing Michael Moore, and I'm wondering if I could kill him myself or if I would need to hire somebody to do it. I think I could. I think he could be looking me in the eye, you know, and I could just be choking the life out. Is this wrong? Michael Reagan, son of the former president, suggested that people who claim that 9-11 was an inside job, a U.S. government conspiracy, deserve to die. Take them out and shoot them. They are traitors to this country and shoot them. But anybody who would do that doesn't deserve to, to live. You shoot them. You call them traitors, that's what they are, and you shoot them dead. I'll pay for the bullet. Neil Bortz went after victims of Hurricane Katrina. That wasn't the cries of the downtrodden. That's the cries of the useless, the worthless. New Orleans was a welfare city, a city of parasites, a city of people who could not and had no desire to fend for themselves. You have a hurricane descending on them, and they sit on their fat asses and wait for somebody else to come rescue them. Muslims are some of Bortz's favorite targets. It's Ramadan, and Muslims in your workplace might be off. Offended if they see you eating at your desk. Why? I guess it's because Muslims don't eat during the day during Ramadan. They fast during the day and eat at night. Sort of like cockroaches.